Hey, this is Troy with Now with Troy, and I can't believe we are at the last day of August. Time flies. And, you know, as things speed along and we get towards the end of the year, one of the things that I want to spend time talking about today is, is a slide that one of my peers, Lowell Amos, has been using a number of different times. And it, it really focuses on seven foundational initiatives. As you get to the end of the year, some of the times it's, it's a good time to put those foundational things in place. Maybe you can get those in place still this year, or you'll look at what initiatives you want to put in place as you turn the corner and we come into 2023. Now, a lot of things I talk about on Now with Troy is related to ServiceNow. I work for ServiceNow, but I think these principles not only apply to ServiceNow, but they could apply to other enterprise platforms as well. But just know as, as we talk about these foundational initiatives, what we're looking at is if you have an enterprise platform that is really involved in driving value across your organization, like ServiceNow can, um, there's seven foundational initiatives that are important. So one of the things I want to do is I want to jump over to this slide and let me drop my logo and walk through this. As you look at these initiatives, let me just skim through them, then we'll spend a little bit of time talking about each one. On ServiceNow, you should have an up-to-date, right, a current strategy and roadmap. And part of that means um, really looking at your vision and strategy as well as continually refining and updating that roadmap. As we look at governance, partner strategy, environment and platform health, implementation and co-delivery, value management, program design and enablement, that strategy and roadmap, that vision that goes behind it really helps direct the rest of the six. And so let me spend some more time talking about each of those. As we talk about governance, sometimes you know, that can be a little unclear, but, but part of it is, is really like governance uh, at ServiceNow in three distinct areas. What is strategic governance? How are you really directing the platform to become that control tower for the enterprise? Because yes, it does deliver and continues to deliver in IT and our technology workflows. But if you've looked at our continually expanding capabilities, we're working more and more across different departments in the platform and in your enterprise to help the world of work work better. And having that strategic governance in there to say, yeah, ServiceNow is our control tower. How do we leverage it best to make the best use of the other key platforms we have in our environment and really drive that home? The next is technical governance. Are we making the right changes at the right time and staying close to best practices and staying close to out of box? There's some technical governance in there to make sure that you're doing the right work on the platform. The third type of governance is port portfolio governance, managing those different work streams for different user groups. And sometimes that means having, you know, almost roadmaps for different areas. In many times they say, you don't need a roadmap for servers now. You need a community development plan. And some of that comes to this as you look at portfolio governance. There are po portfolios, particularly once you get to client facing capabilities, the speed to implement is crucial. And so prioritizing some of those is going to weigh more heavily than some of the things that are internal. Both are important, but portfolio governance is really helping manage that priority and balancing those out. The next we come to partner strategy. I am part of ServiceNow's customer outcomes. We deliver expert services as well as impact and training, but we also have a vibrant partner community. I've been a, a part of a number of different partners. And so our partners are a key part of driving value on the ServiceNow platform. And it's important to have a defined partner strategy. Who do you want to work at for what? There's lots of different capabilities and partners come with different skills and focuses. And, and it's important to kind of balance that out and say, how do we work well together as a community inside your organization? The next one, if I zip down to the bottom, is environmental and platform health. Our updates are coming out twice a year, if not more frequently, because there are subsets that are coming out quarterly and, and can, can move more quickly. And so it's making sure that as we continue to see that cloud innovation and that speed of innovation continue to change and continue to accelerate, how do you make sure that your platform is healthy? Part of that is doing a platform health assessment, 
Another is looking at really an architecture blueprint of how do we expect ServiceNow as a control tower for the enterprise to really be connected to different things. Looking at that architecture, then how do we integrate? Where do we want to integrate best? And, and where is our system of truth, our system of record, and system of action? And part of that is really looking at how those fit together. The next part is looking at our capabilities and our, both from a technical standpoint and a capability standpoint from the roadmap on the platform and how that ties to your roadmap. The next is really looking at data management, stepping back and saying, do we have the right data in the right place for the right access with all of that combined? And, and part of that you know, that we spend a lot of time talking about is on our you know, configuration management database using our common services data model, CMDB and CSDM making sure that we understand those key data structures in your enterprise data management model, which part should be in service now and are we managing the, that data correctly. If I start to go up the chain, the next one is implementation and code delivery. Part of that is looking at ServiceNow and say, what is our product implementation strategy? That could be using our out-of-the-box capabilities or some of the things that you've built with our application engine in our App Studio. How do you take those products and, and really implement those and bring those to market as well as understand when you should sunset some of those capabilities and move to the next thing? Part of that is you bring things into production. What is good peer review and good design review? And make sure that you've got a plan and action in place to have those fundamentals of design review built into your methodology. The next one, if I bubble up, is looking at value management. Value is tough. But I think it's in essential that we spend time to look at as we're doing work to make the world of work work better for people on ServiceNow. It's important for us to take a step back and say, how is this providing value to our clients, values to our business, value to our stakeholders and, and employees within the organization? And that's looking at a value blueprint as well as looking at value realization and potential. There are ways, particularly in our impact product, that we can use instrumentation where if there's data there, we can watch it or you can enter it and say, here are our KPIs. How are we doing? How are we trending over time? And are we realizing the value that we envisioned and we had hoped? Make sure that's part of the fundamental foundational initiatives that you have in mind. The last one is program design and enablement. Um, that's really stepping back and saying, let's create a center of excellence, a COE, for design and innovation on the platform. Also looking at how do you enable your staff, empower them to stay abreast of all the innovations that are coming out on ServiceNow, so training and enablement. Um, and it's also making sure that as, as your capabilities on the platform grow, that you're adjusting and shaping your retained staff. What staff should you have and what are the roles there and how do you continually review them to say that, yes, we have the right team to see our strategy and vision implemented and realized in the organization. And that last part is organizational change management, or as I often call it, is platform advocacy. Is ServiceNow becomes a key part of your organization, that control tower for your enterprise. Are we constantly looking at ways to communicate that out? New ways to work, new ways to improve the way we work. There's collaboration to make the world of work work better for people. And a lot of that has evolved organizational change management, that we really understand the value of the platform and how we can use it better. And so as you think about those seven key initiatives um, and look ahead, if there are some gaps, don't hesitate to reach out to myself or some of my peers and help us, you know, let's, let's talk through that together and we can help you figure out a plan to say which of the foundational initiatives are lacking and how should we prioritize helping you build those in. Lots of options for you, but with that, I hope August went well for you and let's jump into September together. If you have topics that you'd like me to address, by all means, reach out, respond to any place you see this in the comments, reach out with a message on LinkedIn, and I look forward to talking with you. Stay tuned for the next Workflow Wednesday. Have a great week. Bye-bye.